Good afternoon and thank you for joining me today for our online programming. My name is Mary Ann Wright and I'm a 4-H area educator for Lincoln University Cooperative Extension. Let's start by saying the 4-H pledge. I pledge my head to clearer thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better living for my club, my community, my country, and my world. Thank you very much. Today we are going to do an easy recipe. Um, we are going to be making Boot Hill Bean Salsa. And this is just a fun dip that you can make. I thought since May is right around the corner and Cinco de Mayo is going to be next week, this is a fun recipe to try. And if you don't have all the ingredients, you still have time to get them from the store when you make your emergency store run in the next few days. So let's get started by showing you the recipe here. So it's very easy. I will post this recipe also on our Facebook page so you can get the recipe so you can download it and print it if you would like. But you need just a few ingredients and this is a really yummy dip. So the first thing you're going to need is a can of black beans, a can of black eyed peas, a can of corn, some diced tomatoes, and then some diced chilies. And the diced chilies come in a smaller can, so you're going to want to make sure to get the four ounce can um, when you see that at the store. The other things that you need for this recipe are three limes and some olive oil and then some salt and pepper. So those are the ingredients you'll need for this recipe. And then the supplies that you need are very few. You will need a cutting board and a knife and a spoon for your lemon or for your lime. And then you'll also need a measuring spoon and a large mixing spoon and a mixing bowl. So hopefully you have those ready if you're gonna make this with me today. Otherwise you can always watch this video and do it later. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is if we look at the recipe, we wanna make sure that we gather all of our supplies and our ingredients. So I have everything here. The first thing says I wanna make sure to drain and rinse my black beans, my black eyed peas, and my corn. So I went ahead and did that. I used my hand, washed it, made sure it was really clean. I used it to drain over the sink. And then I filled this up with water, kind of let it settle a little bit, and then drain that water again. So my black eyed peas and my black beans and my corn is all rinsed. Next, I need to make my lime juice. So I'm gonna use limes here. And a trick when you're juicing your limes is if you wanna roll it on a hard surface to really get those juices flowing there before you make your cut. So roll it there and then use your knife on your cutting board. And I'm just gonna do one slice down the middle so I have two halves of my lemon. And I'm gonna juice that just in a container here. So just gonna squeeze it right over my container. And do the other. Now you probably wanna have a paper towel or a dish towel close so you can wipe off your hands to get that lemon juice off. Also, I always like to have a spoon when I'm juicing limes or lemons um, because you can get some extra juice out of there. I'm just gonna take my spoon and kind of work it into my lime and then I'm gonna squeeze again. So see all of this juice that was still in there that I just needed to get to. So I'm gonna use my spoon to really make sure I get all that juice out of both sides of my lime. Now if you have a juicer, you can use that to make the job a little bit easier. There we go, so I'm gonna wipe my hands. And now it's time to get my mixing bowl and mixing spoon ready. So I have it here. And so I'm gonna read my recipe again. And it says the next thing we do after we drain and get everything ready is to mix all of our canned ingredients together in a bowl. So 
we have our black beans, our black eyed peas here, our corn. Make sure I get it all out. It likes to stick to the side a little bit. Then we have our tomatoes. So our diced tomatoes here, you can also use crushed tomatoes if that's what you have in the cabinet. Um, you are going to use the juice from this. I drained just a little bit of my juice, but for the most part, you're just going to put the tomatoes and juice right in there. And the same thing with my diced green chilies. Just going to pour that right in my bowl. And now I'm ready to mix this all together. So carefully mix so you're not flinging ingredients out all over the place here. Really get it mixed up there. Make sure all those beans. This is a very colorful dip. It's very fun. Okay. Once I have that all stirred up, my next instruction says that we're going to add our lime juice and our oils to the beans and we're going to mix that up. So it calls for the juice of three limes, which we just juiced. So pour that in. And then it calls for a tablespoon of olive oil. So I'm going to measure this tablespoon here. and Add that into my mixture there. Okay, so now carefully we're going to mix that together. Okay, this is the base of our dip. It's ready. The only thing left to do is to season to taste. So what that means is you can try a little bit of your dip and you can add as much salt and pepper as you want to the mixture. So I'm going to take a spoon, make sure it's a clean spoon, and you're just going to taste a little bit of that dip. Mmm. So, this is now dirty. We're not going to re-put it, re-dip it in there. But I am going to add a little bit of salt to my dip and a little bit of pepper here. And I'm going to stir it up. Okay. So now my dip is ready to enjoy, um, to store. So you can eat it and serve it in a dish that you like. Or you can go ahead and put it in a food safe container and put it in the refrigerator to store. This is a really big recipe. So this is also a fun thing to do if you want to share. So if you have small jars, you can clean those really well and then you can put some of your dip into your jar and seal that up and maybe you can share with friends and family or neighbors. This is a great Cinco de Mayo gift that you could put um, on their doorstep and let them know that it's out there waiting for them. But again, this will keep for several days in the refrigerator. It actually gets better with time because all those flavors mix together. So this is a fun recipe to try. Um, you can eat it as is or use it as a dip with some tortilla chips. So I hope you will try this recipe. I really like this recipe because it's so versatile. If you decide that instead of black eyed peas, you would like to use kidney beans, or if you want to add some fresh vegetables, if you want to add fresh onions and peppers to it, that sounds delicious. Also, you can play around with some of the seasonings. So if you want to make it a little bit more of a Mexican dip, you can add some cumin and some Mexican spices there. Or you can add a little bit of sugar and that kind of changes and makes it a little sweet. Um, if you don't have lime juice, you can play around with lemon juice or even vinegar. So there's just lots of different ways to eat this rest or eat this dip and make it your own so play around see what you have in your pantry and it's a really easy fun dip that you can make with just a few cans of vegetables so hope you try this and enjoy i will see you again next week for more online programming thank you very much bye bye